morning, good morning, good morning. <laughs> I hope all is well. Um, I want to read this morning from still Second Corinthians. I just trying to remember which one it is I read yesterday because there's just so many. <laughs> There's just so many good um good scriptures in in Corinthians. So even if I read this yesterday, <laughs> I'm not sure I can't even remember to be honest with you, but this still is 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 one of my favorites and Maybe the message needed to be said again, and maybe the Holy Spirit has given me the message for someone to hear it. So 2 Corinthians 4, 16 through 18 says, That is why we never give up. Though our bodies are dying, our spirits are being renewed every day. For our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. So we don't look at the troubles we can see now, rather we fix our gaze on the things that cannot be seen. For the things we see now will soon be gone, but the things we cannot see will last forever. And there's another one that I wanted to read, which is 2 Corinthians 4, 8 through 10, which says, we are pressed on every side by troubles, but we are not crushed. We are perplexed, but not driven to despair. We are hunted down, but never abandoned by God. We get knocked down, but we are not destroyed. Through suffering, our bodies continue to share in the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be seen in our bodies. And today, I am uh, I'm just grateful for, for the Word of God, and I'm grateful for friends, family, obviously, um, I'm grateful for life, just everything in general. You know, um, last night, Precious isn't here now, but um, Precious had this uh, this event called Friendsgiving. She had it at my restaurant last night. And um, it was so good because, you know, a lot of people who from this room, you know, they were there. And it was, uh, it was, uh, it was really nice to, you know, just, just be in the presence of, of people. But, I mean, people who you know and people who you met in Bible group and people who you know, you know, think and, and share and have the same feelings as you, you know. But the thing that I mostly noticed, right, was that there were some people in there who were in this from, you know, from two years ago when we first started it. Um, but there were people in there who I've watched grown and go through so much and I've seen and just to see them last night like happy and you know just enjoying themselves and like you know like like I mean so many amazing things have happened since then in the beginning when I first met them till now is that you couldn't even imagine the you couldn't even imagine like what may have like 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 what they've gone through to get to the point where they are now you know like um somebody who 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 started out in here like you know they they who said that they weren't even that good at prayer like that you know they they prayer wasn't really their strong point you know now they being ordained to be a minister you know somebody who was struggling with a job you know they now were appointed by our government to be the director of an entire ministry, like an entire ministry, like unbelievable to me. I mean, this person was looking for a job, you know what I mean? But now God excelled them to this point where, you know what I mean? They, they, they can be the director of an entire ministry. And, you know, that's why I wanted to, even though I read the scripture yesterday, I just felt it in my spirit and compelled to just remind somebody of these words. What is what is what the Apostle Paul started this this verse with? That is why we never give up. 
never give up, you know? And then he continues and says, Our present troubles are small and won't last very long. Yet they produce for us a glory that vastly outweighs them and will last forever. I mean, think about it. Like two years ago, none of these people could have visioned what like God is doing in their lives right now. You know what I mean? Nothing, nothing. You know, like you couldn't, it, it was almost impossible for you to say, that. I'm sure that he wouldn't have ever thought that, you know, that he would become a director of an entire ministry. I know she probably never would have thought that she would have been ordained a minister. You know what I mean? Like, um, I, I, I've seen, I've, I've, I've seen it and, I, and I've been here and I've been a part of that journey and I've heard their troubles and I've heard their cries. I've heard their pain. You know, I've heard when they've cried and, and spoke to God and, and, and say that they needed help and they came and came in this room and said, hey, you know, I need y'all to pray for me because I go into this. And you know, that's why it's so important to pray for your friends because like you never know how that chain of command works. You never know like, 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 like where that, that little prayer is go up to a big God, you know. And you see that saying, big God? He does so many things and he can see so many things and he understands everything. So the little bit of trouble that you may think that you're going through now is just to prepare you for whatever it is that he has in store for you. And nobody could change my mind. Nobody could change my mind about that because I've seen it. I've seen it. I've witnessed it. I've lived it. So I don't want to take up anyone's time anymore. I just want whoever is out there listening to me right now and going through something to just be reminded that, that don't give up. Don't give up. Whatever you're going through right now is temporary and it's a part of the process for God to take you where you need to be. I'm Gary. Have a blessed day, everyone. And I relinquish my mic.